Our Lady of Antwerp Cathedral. Oh, by the way, I was reading that uh, it was never finished. Oh, see, you can see now the Haidoli, the, the sculptures inside. How does it feel? <laughs> How does it feel? Cold. <laughs> the cathedral. So this cathedral was start. They started building this cathedral in 1352, and the first stage of construction ended in 1521. Whoa! It's like around 2,000 years. So it has never been completed. Very perfect style. What does this mean? I think the work. The work. The workers? Look how basic they used to What do you mean, how basic? You mean the construction of the... I mean, yeah. Which year was this? Uh, 13. They started in 13... Uh, Let's say of all three, um, 1935. As if I know what this means. <laughs> well, we can translate it later. Let's go from here. No, I can still pick up a few words. It's French. Careful, this dude. <laughs> what is it made of? Marble? Is it this marble? Wow. And this was like a real ground? Yeah. Oh, nice. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, not only, the only tourists here. <laughs> and this is what a well? I think so. Hmm. Oh my god, what does it say? There's a QR code. Although I don't know if it's related. Oh yeah, there's English. Well, in stone and wrought iron was used as the neighborhood's water supply until the end of the 19th century. Dozens of similar wells could be found in the city at the time, but this one was by far the most visually outstanding. The wrought iron structure is highly decorated and the bronze sculpture of Bravo stands on top of the frame. Where? Oh, you see him? No, 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 but the... He's also holding the hand, I guess. Yeah. Top of the frame. According to the legend, mm. the Roman soldier, Bravo, killed a giant called Antigone and threw his hand in the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From an art historical perspective, the sculpture is highly valuable, being one of the oldest bronze statues in a non religious context in the southern Netherlands. <sighs> so he's holding the hand. See it? But he threw it in the river. Let's talk about this guy over there with his statue. Uh, Bravo. Bravo. The Roman soldier. Yeah. 
and like why it's called Antwerp. Would you like to do as the honors when we're there or should I do it? I'll do it. Oh, there he is. Oh, with a lot of tourists. Okay, so the name of uh, why Antwerp is called Antwerp, it comes from uh, the name Handwerp or hand throwing. So legend has it that there was a giant who used to force people to pay money to be able to cross the river, the river that runs through Antwerp. Until a Roman soldier named Brabo. Uh, also, yeah, this uh, giant used to cut off the hands of the locals who didn't have the money to pay. Until a guy called Brabo saved the town by slicing off the hand of this giant and throwing it in the river. And thus came the name Hand Antwerp or Hand Open or Hand Throwing, or now it's called Antwerp. Or in French it's called Envers. Envers. <laughs> and that's uh, Brabo up there, Silvius Brabo. He's a Roman soldier who was said to have killed the giant and by this would have created the name Brabant. Later the story was used to explain the name Antwerp, which according to the story is a derivative of hand weapon, meaning hand throwing. So Brabo killed the giant who, who asked money from people who wanted to pass the bridge. When they didn't want to, want to or couldn't pay, he cut off their hand and threw it in the river. Because of this, Brabo also removed the hand of the giant and threw it in the river. And thus we have Antwerp. And now we go have tea with the prince in this castle that is built in the 1564. You want to join this tour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just walk with them. But like, they're all from a certain age group. We can't do that. We look uh, awkward. They're all and they're all from a certain age. No, there's a woman up on, on totally leading cool. the way. You're waiting on to end your life. So we came here at night last night, but it was like totally different. I think it's interesting to see it during the day. That's my watch, giving me the updates. Kids since 1995. Rhythm and Blues Cafe. I wouldn't mind an espresso lungo right now. A lungo? Yes. I wouldn't mind a waffle. Oh, yes, as well. Actually, that's a good idea. A waffle there? Yeah, good idea. Uh, let's just move around here a little bit more because let's capture the moment before we end it here basically Dude, you're getting some stairs yeah. you're getting some stairs well yeah. some people are giving you the, the looks yeah <laughs> well yeah. so this is the uh, cathedral from the other side now actually yeah, this is the back country. Let's go from here. This was... Uh, this was, They started building this in the year 13. Uh, it took around 2,000 years to be completed and it was never really completed. Did you know that? No. They started in 1352 and ended in 1521. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why the one in uh, Brussels uh, was never completed. And this clock over there, I'm sure it has a story, but I don't even know it, so. 
not just gonna blabber nothing. Sip happens, it's okay to wine. What? Isn't this like a typical Amsterdam building? Yeah. Is the clock correct? It's 9 a.m. right now? No. It's 10 a.m. right now. It's one hour early. Do you happen to have a sticker on you? Yeah. Can we stick one here? I like the buildings. They're more... Uh, what's the word? Not elegant. They're more... Grandois. Than the ones what? in... Grandois? Grandoise? Yeah, what's Grandiose. Grandiose? That's what flamboyant. Toilet. Grandoise. You know, it's more grand. Grand. Grandoise? Grandiose. Grandiose, okay. Let's end it there. A figure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, here. Go. What? Oh, I thought you were walking. Oh, these are vinyls here. All right. Careful, careful, there's a car behind you. Sunny day. Sunny day. No way. Look what I found. Yeah. Look what I found. Oh. What now? <laughs> Not really. No, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. So this is the oldest building in Antwerp.
God knows who has walked this walk here before. <laughs> and what was happening. No, I'm talking about like, like centuries ago. But for a Sunday, uh, no, most of the places are open earlier than Amsterdam. Yeah. Shopping Street, the mayor of Antwerp, to the Antwerp Central Station, right over there. It's Wagamama, Media Market, Coffee Fellows over there, Panos, Five Guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what do you mean what? <laughs> 